G'day, g'day. Welcome to the next video on view data. This one is on columns and managing the columns. So as an overview, from left to right, we have many columns that we can look at when deciding to make a purchase uh, for resale on Amazon. So as we go through from left to right, we start to see some uh, individual controls. And don't worry, we're going to be having separate videos. There's a series of about a dozen videos on the view data. And you can uh, access any of these. And uh, this is related to individual controls in this column. This is quantity count. And quantity count is uh, how this relates to the, uh, uh, essentially from the product that you purchased in relation to the Amazon um, match item. This is uh, the domain that you are looking to buy from and the title and image, the price. This is the adjusted price. If you've imported any kind of a coupon code, say you wanted, you, you had a 10% off code, this is the actual buy price that you paid or the adjusted price. This is whether or not the item is in stock. And over here we have the Amazon data. We'll have another video on these buttons as well. But we've got Amazon title and image. The category as it's presented on Amazon. The brand, the ASIN, which is the Amazon identifying number. The uh, UPC, both at the source and at Amazon. You've got your buy box price. Uh, what kind of return you're going to get after fees. Uh, again, the return calculated after prepping and shipping is included. Where your gross profit lies when all is said and done and how that ties into a return on investment percentage. The number of sellers currently um, on the product and the weight of the product, whether it is a standard size or oversized product. The sales rank of the item, um, very importantly, the average sales rank of the item. And I, I like to use um, 90 days um, for most of the year and 30 days when you get a little bit closer to the seasonal, um, you know, a seasonal event such as Christmas. Uh, the number of reviews on the item and the rating on the item. And when this product was last updated. So in this particular example, um, I did this search very recently. So it's saying that this search was, uh, this, this live, this data was added to our databases live. And this is an important um, identifier. This data was added to our, uh, to our databases live on uh, August 25th at uh, 2.41 in the morning. Now, um, why this is important is if you're running a, a feature called cache, which we're going to cover in a future video on settings, if, if you're running a feature called cache, then uh, you might find some of this data is a few days old. So this is an important column for us to know um, whether or not the data is a little old and maybe needs updating, whether the data is still fairly fresh and it's not that relevant to update it now. A couple little things we're going to be covering in future videos is to what is this little microscope here in new sellers? What is the exclude button here? What is the little pencil um, under the ASIN column and also the pencil under here in the quantity column? What we can do with these little arrows on the images? What do these buttons here mean and these buttons here mean? But for now, we're just going to talk about these columns in general. So these columns in general, um, may not be exactly where you prefer them to be. So you might really like to look at these images, for instance, side by side. Well, that's not a problem. You can actually drag and position these columns wherever best suits you. Now, this is where the Manage Columns button comes in. Now, the Manage Column button here, the Manage Columns visibility um, pop-up that you can see here actually shows us the current order of every single one of these columns. It also shows me the visibility of each of these columns. Now, let's say, for example, you're working on a very small screen. Maybe it's an older iPad, for example. And scrolling, even on my 1080 by 1920 pixel screen, you'll see that we really use the real estate and some scrolling distance. Now, over time, you might say, well, there's a few things I'm not that interested in. I may not be that interested in seeing things such as the product size. I may not be that interested in, in seeing, say, the... Uh, 
let's say we're not that worried about the brand, for instance. You can see this brand column disappearing when I do that. Now, the Amazon UPC and EAN, you'll learn over time, and this is part of our instructions and something I should probably even mention now, is you'll learn over time is that the uh, universal product code, when it is a perfect match between the source and Amazon, this will be green. So essentially you can turn off the source product code because you'll know that it's a match just by seeing this green icon here, this green uh, identifier here. Now, uh, this in essentially is what I'm trying to show you here is that you can turn on and turn off columns. There was a column that was turned off by default, which I'm going to turn on now as well. Now, you notice all these rows just expanded. One of the reasons I keep this turned off is because I like to see a lot of rows, but a very handy column to have that a lot of people like to see is this Keeper graph. Now, we're going to cover in a future video that you can actually see the Keeper graph information by mousing over here, but a lot of people like to have this where they can easily see it. And once again, you can drag this up to where you want to see it directly next to your data. So shuffle things around, you can shuffle them there, or you can shuffle them here. If you watch this quantity and domain here, I'll just move quantity below domain, release it, and this is just going to pop across here. Once again, you can save that. And uh, I can also decide to set this back to the default as it is with a new install of the software. Now, setting order to default doesn't automatically turn back on the columns that you have turned off, but it will put them in the correct order, or the order that was presented when you very first began an installation of Tactical Arbitrage. So that is the columns in general, and that is the Manage Columns, uh, or the Columns Visibility pop-up box. In the next video, we're going to get into uh, the Update Data, information, which is this orange button right next to the Manage Columns button. We're going to talk about why you might want to use this. And this is relevant to the, uh, the, final, the last column that I was showing you a moment ago, which shows you when, uh, when the particular product on that row was last updated. And uh, we'll discuss that in depth in the very next video. For now, before I finish this one up, I'm going to turn Keep a Graph uh, column row back off so we can see a few more rows and I'm going to turn back on my brand let's turn on everything really I'm going to save that and we'll end this video and I'll see you in the next one